It's the New Year's 2020, new decade. And I got good news and I have bad news. Let me start with the bad news and get it over with. The bad news is by the end of January this month, almost everybody has given up on their New Year's resolutions. Why? Well, most people set a goal that they don't have the tools to actually achieve. You can't just make a goal and expect it to magically happen. What did Einstein say? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. You can't just create a goal and then live your life exactly how you were before and expect anything to change. It never does. We all get stuck in ruts, you know? What are the New Year's resolutions you made? Probably something about health, wealth, love, and happiness. It's pretty much all that you can make a New Year's resolution for. When it comes to money, which is probably where most people want to start with their New Year's resolutions, I just want to tell you, be careful that you don't just set a goal, but live your life exactly like you did the year before. Nothing will change. You can hope and pray, but things don't change until you do. So what's the good news? The good news is all you have to do is make use of the tools that are literally all around you. I wish when I was starting out that there were everything there was now, the internet videos where you could download. I mean, there's more at our fingertips now than there's ever been. Actually, it's a problem. There's so much you don't know what to listen to. But that's for another conversation. Um, I'll tell you this. Money isn't the most important thing in life. But it's a little bit like oxygen. The second you don't have it, it suddenly comes to the forefront as all you can think about. So if the last year and the last decade, you feel like money's been like air, you're constantly just gasping for it, and you just have enough to stay alive, but you don't have enough to thrive, listen to what I'm going to say. This new decade, trillions of dollars of wealth is going to shift hands. You see it, the disruption that's happening in, in retail, in e-commerce. Big companies like Toys R Us disappear. New ownership comes. You see Sears, JC Penney's going bankrupt. New companies like Amazon. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, those are big shifts. Those may not affect you directly, may not affect your bank account. But if you can catch even a teeny percent of that shift in how the world's changing, you can change your financial situation. Whether it be you learning e-commerce, you learning social media marketing, you learning real estate investing, you learning how to make deals, you learning persuasion. The good news is there's more available now. Actual tangible things that you can do every day, five, ten minutes a day to start learning. Just remember, I was just with my 100-year-old grandma. She's 101, actually. When she was growing up, there was no audiobooks. There was no videos to download. There was no phone to get easy access to information. It was much harder then. It's easier than it's ever been, but yet people are so lazy. I could tell you this straight fact. If you are a lazy person, you're going to have to kick yourself in the butt and stop it. Stop it. You can have many bad habits. Don't have that one. Start learning. Start researching. Start thinking. Grow your common sense. I know it's a disaster that you and I didn't learn anything about how to change our finances in junior high, in high school, in college, in elementary school, at our church from our friends, from our parents, but that's okay. Forget that. It's a tragedy, but the tragedy must be reversed. So 2020, you want to know what's going to change your life? Start to do research. Reverse engineer. What are people doing that you're not doing when it comes to their finances? Maybe it's saving more. Well, hard to save if you don't have any money left over. You can only make more money in two ways. You can either increase your income, you can lower your expenses, or the third way is you can do both. I recommend that you try to do both simultaneously. But raising your income 
is harder. Everybody knows how to save, go out to eat less, don't buy as expensive clothes, buy a less expensive car, live in a less expensive apartment. That one, there's not much for me to tell you. It's just a discipline thing. But raising your income, I can tell you this, catch new trends. Trillions of dollars of wealth will shift hands in the next two, three, four, five years. And you may not be able to grab all of that. No one person is going to take advantage of all this trillions of dollars of wealth. But it can be spread around to a lot of people. You might as well be one of them. Learn how to make an extra hundred bucks a month. Learn how to avoid losing a hundred bucks. A lot of people start businesses, decide to become entrepreneurs. And next thing you know, they put more money in than they got out. That's why I said you got to research. You got to look at what's working. You got to reverse engineer the success of others. So earlier last year, I offered a little special. I said, if you want to learn from the programs that I've created, I did a test last year. I took my top four programs. I discounted them heavily. For a short period of time, I said, first come, first serve. And people got in, and they got access and saved thousands of dollars and got all that training. Well, I've decided for the New Year's, I'm going to do something else. Instead of just taking my four best programs, I'm going to put 16 of my training programs that I've developed with my business partners and affiliates over the last five years. This is over 300 hours of training from 50 different mentors. I'm going to put a link below. You can get access to them in the New Year's. You can begin to learn. You don't have to listen to 300 hours all right away. You got a year to listen to it. Actually, I'm going to give you unlimited. You can listen to it for the next five years. I recommend 10, 15 minutes a day. Click around in the different programs. There's all different subjects, specifically around how to change your income, primarily what they're focused on. Okay? Again, they're not get rich. They're not a scam. They're not how to make a billion dollars. Anybody who tells you can make a billion dollars in 2020 um, is probably, <laughs> if you believe that, uh, you got other problems. So I'm not over promising. What I am telling you is in those 300 hours of training you're about to receive access to, you will find things that you can't find in any book, can't find in any university. I try to get only information from people actually in, in the trenches, actual entrepreneurs, actual people who have changed their life, changed their finances. So is this a scam? I don't know. The biggest scams have already been perpetrated. <laughs> the biggest scams have already been perpetrated. Don't worry so much about being scammed. This isn't a scam. And uh, people fear the wrong things. Fear living a horrible life. Fear, li fear living a boring life. Fear living a life where you're not happy and you're continually stressed. Rethink what you fear. Rarely is it trying new things that makes your life worse. So I'm going to add a few bonuses in. When you click the link below and you get access to 16 of my programs for I think it's over $10,000 saving. I'm also going to throw in eight weeks of live coaching that I do, small group coaching. You can do it on your phone. You come on, you do them every Friday, and I'm gonna help you through the courses, okay? You get a, get a password protected login, you get access to each program, lifetime. You can choose which one fits your goals. If you wanna start a social media marketing agency, if you wanna start learn real estate investing, if you wanna learn Airbnb, if you wanna learn how to improve your credit, if you wanna learn e-commerce and selling products online, Click the button below to get the bundle now. This will not last forever. It's a special sale just for New Year's. Okay? You've got less than seven days left. Use the programs to make this the year you focus on changing your financial situation. It's a new decade. Nothing will make you feel better than looking back and realize this was your decade. This was your decade. This was your year. Go out and get what you want. Don't be a baby. Don't be lazy. Don't procrastinate. Get in there. Click that link.